Hi, I hope you're well. This is Teacher Raya. Thank you for visiting. In this session, we are going to do three questions on algebraic fractions. So I hope you stay with me to the end because this will help you in doing your forthcoming exams, whether you're doing Form 4, GCSE or IGCSE. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, please press the button on the uh, bottom right hand corner of your screen and let's start the exercise. Question one then, we're asked to simplify p squared minus nine over two p plus six. What do we do? Well, I noticed these two uh, uh, terms here are square numbers because nine is a square number and p squared is a square number, of course. So I'm going to rewrite that as a p squared minus three squared over 2p plus 6. Now, if you remember the difference of two squares, if you have a squared minus b squared, you can factorize this by writing a plus b bracket a minus b, and that is what I'm going to do over here. So uh, for the numerator, I will have a p plus a 3 and then I'll have a p minus a 3 over the denominator can also be factorized. 2 is common, so I'm going to take 2 out. Then I have p plus a 3 here. And that's what you need. You need to look for brackets that could cancel or numbers that could cancel. I can see this bracket p plus 3 here can cancel and this one can cancel. So this expression, this um, fraction here, p squared minus 9 over 2p plus 6 can then be factorized to uh, be my p minus 3 over Two. And that's the answer for this question one then. But let's go to question two. We got 6x squared plus 3x over x, 4x squared minus 1. Well, I can factorize the uh, numerator by take, taking 3x out because 3x is common. So I'm going to do 3x and then inside the bracket I need uh, 2x to make 6x squared because 3 times 2 is 6 and then I need another x so I'll have 2x here and then plus I already have 3x outside and I need just 3x so I need to multiply that by 1 in order to have 3x so I write 2x plus 1 inside the bracket and then over here again I can see I have 2 oh, two times which are squared. Well, 4x squared can be written as a 2x whole thing squared minus 1 squared. So I'm going to use the difference of two squares again. So uh, I can write that as 2x squared minus 1 squared. So you guessed it. I'm going to write that as 3x over 2x plus 1. And this will be my a and this will be my b. So over 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. This and this will cancel. So I can simplify that uh, fraction to 3x over 2x minus 1. And that's the answer for question 2. Now for question 3, I'm asked to simplify fully x squared minus 8x plus 15 divided by 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. So you notice you have a quadratic expression for the numerator as well as for the denominator. So we need to put them in double brackets. Okay. So for the first one, then we need to look for two numbers that will make 15 if you multiply but if you add or subtract, we'll give you eight. So let's look at factors of 15. Well, there's only one times 15. We can't get eight, eight if we add or subtract, so that won't work. The only other one is a three times a five. I do need uh, three and five will give me eight. I need to have a negative eight. That means this needs to be negative 3 and this needs to be negative 5. That will be my numbers that we go in the bracket. So for the numerator then I have two brackets like that. X and X there. And then I have minus 5 and minus 3. It doesn't matter if you write X minus 3 first. So now we go for the uh, denominator. What do we do with that one? We've got... 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. Well, you do exactly the same. We do 15 times 2. 
what we do here because there's one so we do this exactly the same thing 15 times 1 but we don't we kind of ignore it but we do 15 times 2 uh, so 15 times 2 which is 30 and then you look for two numbers factors of 30 that will give you negative 7 all right so 30 you can do 15 times 2 can you make 7 out of this 15 take away 2 negative 15 negative 2 there's no way you're going to get 7 with that one so that won't work well I can do 10 times 3 hmm, that looks good I think I can get a 7 from that I can do uh, 10 take away 3 or negative 10 plus 3 that will give you 7 I do need a negative 7 so which one do you think will be my negative number well it's a 10 so 10 needs to be negative 10 and this one needs to be the plus one in order to get a negative 7 so I'm going to go with these two number and I'm going to rewrite that so these are my good numbers I'm going to rewrite that by splitting the middle term that's what it means so 2x squared then I have minus 10x plus 3x so this part will give me negative 7x and don't forget the negative 15 because that is not going away all right so now what I need to do is just uh, put these in brackets so I'll have x minus 5 uh, x minus 3 and for the denominator I can now split there the middle term um, and have this part here factorized separately and then have this part uh, factorized so what is common here I've got 2x squared minus 10x 2 is common and 1x is common so that is what I'm going to take out so I've got 2x and then to get x 2x squared I need another x and to get a uh, 10 I need a 5 there's already x outside so I don't need another x so that just goes like that and you need to remember to bring this sign over here so it's plus and then now you look what is common between 3x and 15 3 is common so that is what goes out plus 3 and inside the bracket I need an x there to have 3x so x and then plus is negative here so I must keep the negative to get 15 I need to multiply 3 with 5 so that goes like that and now I've got two same brackets I only need to take one of those brackets because they are common just like when you factorize something uh, other stuff so this gives you x minus 5 uh, x minus 3 over now you take that uh, factor and this one to make one of the brackets so I've got 2x plus 3 and then now for the other factor I just need to take the common factor which is x minus 5 so x minus 5 now I can see I have a common bracket here for the numerator and denominator this can cancel out with that so my final answer will be x minus 3 over 2x plus 3 and that's how you simplify this question here thank you for visiting please remember to subscribe and bye for now